Anyways, let's move on to this pedophile shit. Uh, this was crazy, bro. You know how this nigga got banned in 2020? And everyone's calling him a pedophile, cheating on his wife, blah, 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 blah. Turns out it's true. So let's read it, even though my mouth dry as hell. This is your man's. You was hanging with him, Gibby. You was hanging with him every day, bro. Nigga was talking to a minor. <laughs> the Twitch ban. Hello. I like to make a quick statement. Let's cut the fucking bullshit. As you know, there's no filter with me. I've always been upfront and real with you guys on anything that I can be upfront about. And I'm always willing to accept responsibility. Which is why I'm here now. First and foremost, I do want... First and foremost, I do... Let's try again. From the top! First and foremost, I do want to apologize to everyone in my community as well as those close to me. My team and everyone at Midnight Society Game Studio. Hold on, BRB, you can't read. What the fuck? Who can't read, nigga? A lot of people have been left in the dark about what happened yesterday with Midnight Society and now we made the painful decision collectively to have me step down. Our team is full of incredible talent and good people that have had high career and conditions and families and I never want to jeopardize the culture we have carefully crafted. Everyone has been wanting to know why I was banned from Twitch, but for reasons outside of my control, I was not allowed to say anything for the last several years. Now that two former Twitch employees have publicly disclosed the accusations, I can now tell you my side of the story regarding the ban. Were the Twitch whisper messages with an individual minor back in 2017? The answer is yes. What the fuck? Now, I'm not going to give an over-exaggerated response because I've definitely seen this already. But what the fuck? Why are you 55 years old talking to minors, nigga? Nigga, you 57. With a goddamn wig on in a battle suit. Why the fuck are you talking to minors, bro? There's no reason. There's no reason to talk to minors. At least he admitted it. Nigga, what the fuck? So if I grape you, I all I have to do is admit it? And then I'm just good graces, nigga? Were there real, were there real intentions behind these messages? The answer is absolutely not. Bro, that's what every predator says before they become... Bro... Bro, EDP met up with a motherfucker for a cupcake. You like? They always say, "Oh, it was no real intentions." So what the fuck was the intent? And like, what was the fake intentions then? Why are you talking to a minor? And not only that, nigga, you're married. Now, nah, I mean, I don't advocate for cheating, but sometimes you gotta show a bitch you get pussy. But minor, a uh, little girl pussy, like doctor disrespect, bro, and. Did he? My friend, let's keep reading. These were casual, mutual conversations that sometimes lean too much in the direction of being inappropriate. Now, what the fuck does that mean? Bro, all I needed to see was inappropriate and minor. Those are the only things I had to see. Inappropriate and minor. What the fuck? Those two should never be in the same sentence. Nigga, you're cooked. This whole statement was for nothing. Ironic. Nigga, 6'7", old as fuck in the pedo. You cheap, but not Dr. Disrespect cheap. What the fuck are y'all talking about? Is that my dick? Bro, dick for everybody. Why y'all keep doing that shit, man? We talk about this bitch-ass pedo-ass nigga, and y'all talk about me. <sighs> Stay on fucking topic, nigga. Where were we? These were casual, mutual conversations that sometimes lean too much in the direction of being inappropriate. But nothing more. Nothing illegal happened. No pictures were shared. No crimes were committed. I, I never even met the individual. I went through a lengthy arbitration regarding a civil dispute that... God damn, let me retry. I went through a lengthy arbitration regarding a civil dispute that Twitch and the kid... Wait, hold on, let me try again. I went through a lengthy arbitration regarding a civil dispute... Oh, shit, let me try again. I went through a lengthy... Arbitration regarding a civil dispute with Twitch and that case was resolved by a settlement. He did get paid by Twitch. Let me be clear. It was not a criminal case against me and no criminal charges have ever been brought against me. Now, correct me if I'm fucking wrong, but don't correct me because I don't really give a fuck, bitch. I'm pretty sure he won this case because Twitch violated the contract that they, stream contract that they had 
by banning him and not letting him stream. But Twitch finally did something fucking good for the community, bro. They finally did something good. They intercepted these DMs. They seen the messages. They like, whoa, what the fuck is going on? They said, whoa, what the fuck is going on? So they intervened. They stopped it before it could go any further, which basically saved your career for the last five years and also saved that minor for being abused. Because if there was no real intent, you would have never been told to one in the first place. Let's just keep it a stat. New York education, bro. This nigga, uh, this nigga name is Vegeta, bro. Skip the sentence, gang. What the fuck? If he didn't get caught, he would have went for it. That's what I'm trying to say. If Twitch check our messages, <laughs> whispers, you'll be banned. Bro, you're literally blocked on everything, bro. I don't know what you're talking about. Anyways. Let me be clear. It was not a criminal case against me. Oh, I read that. Now, from a moral standpoint, I'll absolutely take responsibility. I should have never entertained these conversations to begin with. That's on me. That's on me as an adult, a husband, and a father. Now, I ain't gonna lie. An adult, a senior citizen, not an adult, nigga. You're a senior citizen, and you're a husband, and a father? Bro, imagine, a, imagine one of your friends talking to your kids. That doesn't go through your head? Now, I'm not excusing anybody, but like, say my age, a 25-year-old. A 25-year-old pedal? Nah, pedals is all pedals. But what I'm trying to say is, a 25-year-old pedal might not be able to have the foreseeable future of sight of, nigga, oh, I have kids this age. I have a 16-year-old. But I want niggas my age talking, like, feel me? Like, bro, what the fuck? That's his wife, what you do. Bitch, why the fuck would I ever, ever be in a scenario to explain to you what I would do as his wife? Unless you were speaking in like third person or some shit. What the fuck you want me to do? She's still been stroking that cock for the last five years. She probably hates him, but she's paid, nigga. And that's what bitches gonna do. They gonna stay for the bread. Did you see Mikhail Burgess to the next year? That was the first 10 minutes of the stream. Fuck Tim the Tatman. What did Tim the Tatman do? What did Timmy do? I know he just posted a video. Let me see. I seen Nick Merck's video. And people's all that coming at Nick Merck's head. Nigga, what the fuck can he say? He stood on business. He said he doesn't support that nigga no more. And on top of that, it's not like he's just a random nigga. That was his friend that he played games with every single day. So that's like me finding out one of y'all niggas is a pedo. I'm be like, yo, I can't fuck with him no more. But I'm not going to go as hard as these Twitter niggas. Like, uh, you tweet you you nigga what you cheat and didn't pay yours twin what the fuck are you talking about you a dumbass Zay. drop and give me 50 <sighs> i got you i swear to god who what did tim the dad man say Wow, this is... I ain't gonna lie, I'm not listening to a woman of a fat white nigga, bro. Absolutely insane, bro. Everything I'm seeing. He looked just like his tattoo. I have known Doc for a while now. We've played games for years. And, um... Yeah, I don't care, bro. I can't lie. 